What's up here, YouTube? Man, are you? Okay, so today I want to show you two little things that you can do to the song Great Is Your Mercy. It's simple little things. It's not too complex. And I heard Kevin Bond do this in a recent video that I saw on YouTube. Okay, so it's in the key of F. So the first movement goes like this. That. So what that is basically, let me just quickly tell you, it's a 3-6 chord progression. It takes you to the 2. So what we had there was, so the song went from the 1, 2, to the 5, to the 1, to the 4. So usually after the 4, it goes back to the 2. So in that time, we had a bit of time. So the beat goes. One, two, three, four, one. So there's a lot of time there. Okay, there's a big gap there. So in that gap, what you can do to fill the gap is, is you can use your circle of fifths. Okay. So remember, we're targeting the two. Because after that four, we go to the two. So that's our target, the G minor. So to get us to that G minor, using the circle of fifths, we go down to the D, okay? Because the fourth down from G is D, okay? So we're going doing something on the D that takes us to the G. On that D, you can apply the same principle, okay? So you can use fourths again to get you to this D. So fourth is down from the D is A, okay? So that's exactly what we do. We're coming from the 4, and we're targeting the 2. So to get us to the 2, we do 6. And to get us to the 6, we play 3. So there goes 3, 6, 2. Okay. And then over the 3 chord, we play a dominant chord. And over the 6, a minor chord. And then to the 2. Okay. So the dominant chord. Okay, there you go. It's A7 sharp 11. So what that is, there's your 7th. Your dominant 7, your A and your flat 7. Okay, that's a dominant 7 sound. Or minor 7 sound. And then, in the key of A, D is your 4, but we're going to sharp your 4. So that's the sharp 11. So that's the chord we're going to play over the 3. To the 6 minor, or to the D minor. Okay, so on our left hand we have a D, F, and an A. Okay, which makes a D minor, but we're just spreading the chord out. Okay, so we're taking the F and play it up per octave. Okay, so that's our left hand. So that's the progression, basically. So now on our right hand, all we do is we play a little melody, simple little melody, which goes... Okay, which is 5, 4, 3, 2. And then we just harmonize those notes using the major scale. So we go... Okay, and on the first one, you do like this little slide. So it goes... Okay, when you play this chord, that's when you land on the 6. That's actually the chord, so it's actually the D minor 11th chord. Okay, because it's a C over a D minor. Okay, D minor 11th chord. But the, the D minor is just spread out in my left hand. Okay, so we're going, so we're ending on that chord. Okay. Okay, so in this song, Okay, so that's how that sounds. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing, another movement that takes you to the two. Okay, so this time all we're doing, this one's actually quite simple, but it sounds nice. So what it is, is to get us to that two, you play a diminished chord to get us to that two. So the diminished chord, here we go, C diminished, to that G minor, okay? C diminished to the G minor, that's it. But what he did to make it interesting was jump from this inversion of the C to that inversion of the diminished chord. But for these chords, he played drop two. So you take a second highest note, left hand, 
the curve, then you invert it. And then you go to the G minor. Okay. But for the G minor, we're also doing the drop two. But that's the basic idea. The basic idea is just diminish to a minor. Diminish to a minor. But we're just playing two diminished chords to the minor chord. And then we play drop two versions of those two chords. Diminish drop two. Diminish drop two. To a G minor drop two. Now you add the left hand. Okay. To make that diminished chord a bit more interesting, we do like this little walk up in the left hand. E, F, F sharp. To the G minor. Okay, so that's progression to the G minor, but it sounds nice. And it's a bit sneaky as well, so you have to do it fast and then this is how it sounds. See where I did that there. You see how it sounded? Okay, so that's how it sounds. It's like a quick little move. So the melody goes. You see, we have the A melody to the B flat. So that's where you use this move. You go. Instead of just going straight to that B flat, what you can do is. You see, it still goes to that same melody. Fancy little hooter. So it goes. That's the idea. Okay. And like I said, you can do this anytime you're on the two chord. So try this chord. You can try to try this sonic because that easy. It's on a two minor chord. And since it's so fast, you can always play it in any song as soon as you land on that two. Just do that. Just as soon as you land on the two chord, play a diminished chord and go back to the two. And get like a quick in and out. So. That's what I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. Leave me a comment. And then um, see you again real soon. Thank you. God bless. Bye-bye.